we are going to move forward and walk deeper into the mysteries of the octahedron and how we can work to build an inner pyramid that has the same properties as the pyramids that were built by the ancient civilizations guided by technology of the star people. So today we are going to um, share how to start to relate to the angels that inhabit and sustain each direction so that we can create this first base of expression that is the square that is the main pillar and foundation for the manifestation then of the upper and lower pointing pyramids. And as the pyramids are an external temple, in the same way we can build a temple with our own materials and constitute ourselves in a sacred temple so that we through our mind and through our body can be the antennas of interface in between dimensions and we become then the portals for manifestation of divinity within our physical realm. This is our mission as human beings. We are the ones that can bring heaven to earth and we are the ones that can manifest divinity within the physical realm. Our bodies inhabit this physical reality but our minds and souls live in the physical realms and can travel, meet different beings, receive heavenly information and mediate it to this physical reality. How do we do this? The first step is building the interface of communication. We have to first create the structure that will allow us to work with other dimensions. And that is the octahedron. We have to construct within our subtle bodies, invisible bodies, we have to construct with our own energies, we have to align them in such a way that our invisible bodies shape into the form of an octahedron. And you may say at this point, but how? How can we do that? This is what we are going to explain today and in the next couple of videos. As human beings, we are ruled by the mind. So it's important to explain this, to know what we are doing and the steps we are taking in this path of building the inner temple. So let's go back to the pyramid and we have already explained how the base of the pyramid is a square and this square has four angles. And this is interesting because the word angle is equivalent to the word angel and we explain how the source, the one, when starting the process of creation, he had to first create a space out of the nothing, out of the all-pervading um, unifying field, a space had to be created so that there was a place to manifest. And this was done by four angels of creation that place themselves in a cardinal point and opened and un envelop the, the space to create a screen where the film of 
creation could be projected. So this is this is what we are going to walk through together today and in the next in the next videos. And today we are going to start by meeting the angle, the angel of the direction of the east. And this is a huge being that is beyond human reality and consciousness. But because we are humans, we need to relate with him with human elements. So we give him a physical form and we connect them with an element that we know and see. And this deity, this angel that calls the creation and the space in the direction of the east appears in the in Christianity as Raphael and he is the mediator of the element of air and in our perception it represents the brain the mind and the power of the intellect so this is a very important point, directional point, in our reality today, where human beings in our fifth ray are developing so fast our minds and using them to conquer reality through technology and to um, change the world. So this angel of the East has to do with communication, has to do with interactions through the brain, has to do also with aura, but written communication is in charge of the utterance of the voice and of the sound, and the sound being these waves, undulatory waves of vibration that communicate and are transferred through the air. So the three main religions that have to do with the last two to three thousand years, that is the Jewish religion, Christian religion, and Muslim, these three religions are religions coming and organized through based through this angel of the air. And there are religions that communicate, express, they have books where their doctrines are written and transmitted. They put rules, they use the mind to put rules and give humanity a set of um, ways of behavior, so things that are good and bad, so that they can start using the discipline to organize their minds, which is the base then to go inside and contact the one. So these three religions are like kindergarten of the um, of the inner discovery. We have to first put very very tight rules so that children were growing to, to start to be safe and um, not kill themselves and know what is good and what is bad. This is a very um, dualistic approach to, to the mysteries and to life and to the one, but gives a platform so that there are rules that can be followed. There's a discipline to then start moving inside. Coming back to the direction of the, of the East, um, the plan for the next days is to connect with this great angel. And the best way to do this, of course, is going inside and it's through meditation. So if you put a candle, you can put like a candle and put um, a little figure of Raphael or just have the candle and some frankincense in the direction of the east. The frankincense is also um, a 
transmitter of the vibration of this angelic being that was it was used and um, in all the ancient world world to express and to bring um, subtle vibrations to a physical space so you can then create a small altar like a candle in the direction of the east and during the hours where the sun is coming up and illuminating and radiating from the direction of the east you can go inside and ask this angel to make contact to welcome him into into your life and see a radiant golden thread of light light that comes from the direction of the east reach you and uncovers itself as a golden flame in the center of your heart so this is a good exercise to be in touch to communicate with the angelic being that inhabits the direction of the east also be mindful during the next days of what you utter because it's your utterance that allows the manifestation of your reality be mindful of every single word that you spread to others and if needed and the words are not necessary just remain in silence be in your own interior remain in silence this exercise just of being conscious of your utterance through the world will give your work your voice the power of manifestation know how to control and regulate your voice and the energies that flow through your utterance so that they are powerful and they are used in the correct way and when needed we are now closing with this first angelic being of taste and we will meet again to continue this trip together.